Good day, ladies and gents. Um, welcome to another tutorial on uh, linear algebra. So um, I'll just type in this code here to uh, to load my linear algebra package, and then um, I'm going to work on a Sylvester matrix and um, do some diagonalization as well. Okay. So what I start off doing is um, with the Sylvester part, I'm just going to uh, assign two variables to, to two polynomials. So I'll call that A. And then my polynomials will be uh, 2x squared uh, minus x plus 1. And then my other polynomial will be to do a random one x squared plus 2x minus 1. Okay. And then now I'm going to construct a Sylvester matrix using these polynomials. So I'm, gonna, so I'm just going to call it um, Rambo. For Sylvester Stallone, right? And uh, yeah, Sylvester Matrix, right? And uh, that'll be um, so A and then B from a variable x. So uh, so when you when when you fill out the Sylvester Matrix anyway, you start off by uh, from the top left corner of the first polynomial. So those are the coefficients. So that's two there. That's the two there. That's the minus one there, and that's the one there, and then the zero. Then you do the next thing again on the next line, but you just move inwards, right? So two, the minus one and one, same thing. Then you go to the next polynomial and you do the same thing and just continue. So you only do it for on a on a two by on a uh, polynomial that's got a degree of um, two, you will create a four by four matrix. And so forth. Okay, so um, now we need to um, look for the resultant. So uh, so A, B, and X. Okay, and the resultant is just pretty much the same as the determinant. So if I do that determinant as well, of our matrix. Um, Rumble, yeah, it's about 14, so it's just the same. So that's um, that's how you do the Sylvester matrix using um, Maple. So now I'm gonna do a um, um, diagonalization of a matrix using a different matrix. So I'll call that uh, I'll capital A, and I'm actually gonna call it M, okay, and then this matrix. So uh, minus one and two. Uh, zero and one. So that's my matrix there. Then what I need to do is I need to find the determinant for that matrix. Okay, so the ex uh, an inverse does exist since uh, the determinant is not zero. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to find some um, eigenvectors of the matrix. I'll just call that PU. Okay, so this is essentially these are the eigenvalues, and um, okay, and this is the eigenvectors. Okay, so um, I'm gonna work on uh, finding the the eigenvalues. I'll call that D. So yeah, so these are the eigenvalues, yeah. So one and minus one. So essentially, they're, they're the roots of uh, the characteristic polynomial. I'll just do the characteristic polynomial now. Well, of M with uh, lambda, we use lambda. Oh no, I don't know why it says lambda. Lambda, sorry. Yeah. 
yay, we got there now. So yeah. So those are the roots anyway of um, these two values are the roots of this um, equation, uh, polynomial equation. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I want to show you something about diagonalization. Okay. So um, I'll start off by uh, assigning a variable. I'll say p1 uh, equals um, so that. Okay. And then but P2 will be the inverse, so the matrix inverse of uh, P1. Okay, so that would be, be the inverse of that. And then my D2 will be, um, I'm going to have to make a uh, construct a new matrix. Uh, all the eigenvalues. So, so that'll be one, zero. Then zero. And then minus one. Right. So these one and minus one, these are the values of this. So I have to construct a four by four, um, sorry, a two by two matrix. And then I'll just add um, zeros. Also add a zero there and a zero here. So then I'll just construct the matrix there. Okay. So that might, that'll be my D2. And then now, if I multiply, uh, if I multiply P1 and uh, D2 and P2, I'll get matrix A. Okay. So I'll do that again. So I'll do the P1 and D. D2 and then P2. Okay, so I get my matrix. Um, I get my matrix M. Sorry, my matrix, my matrix M minus one two zero one. So minus one two zero one. Okay, so that's the um, diagonalization of the matrix. That, that's how you. That's how I worked it out anyway myself when I was at uni, using Maple. So yeah. Um. So I hope that's gonna help someone and um, comments and suggestions. I'm more than welcome and um, hope you guys have a lovely day. So thank you very much.